Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get into your tarot cards once we're done with that. We will go to the oracle cards to see what spirits direct messages are for you. I want to wish you guys happy Valentine's for all of you guys who celebrate. Let's get into your reading Capricorn. How are you doing my lovelies? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Now we're starting off the month with the Four of Wands with the Strength card, with the Eight of Cups, the High Priestess, the Four of Coins, the Full card, the Ace of Wands, Ace of Coins. Wow, Capricorn. All right, my lovelies. We're starting off the month strong. <laughs> Four of Wands could represent walking towards some type of stability. For some of you guys, this could be in regards to love and romance. For others of you, this could represent career, finances. Um, with the Strength card, I see that you guys have been going through a situation where you are trying to manifest some type of stability, and it has not came easy to you. It has not come off easy at all. With the Eight of Cups, I see you guys walking towards, walking away from something, going towards what your intuition is guiding you. For some of you guys, this could represent um, if you're dealing with a relationship or partnership, um, it could be a situation where you're dealing with a Leo, you may be dealing with an Aries, you may be dealing with uh, fire energy here, a Leo, uh, Aries, Sagittarius type of energy. Uh, Pisces energy here as well. I feel that for some of you guys, you're wanting to manifest some type of stability. Like I said, this could be in love. This could be career wise. With the four of pentacles, I see you guys very guarded though. It's almost like with the strength card, it could represent that you've been through a lot. Things have not came easy to you and you've had to work really hard towards achieving your goals or manifestations that you're bringing into your life. With the Fool, though, what they're telling you here, Capricorn, is that in order for you to really see momentum or see things start to move in a much more quicker movement, there is a need for you to get out of your comfort zone. There is a need for you to challenge yourself to get out of the routine or the habit, okay? Now, if we're talking about dealing with a specific individual, it could have been a connection that was very strong and it started off very hot and heavy in the beginning with the strength card. This could be very physical, strong connection. But someone in this connection either decided to walk away because Okay, so I'm getting two messages here. For some of you guys, you could have dealt with the situation where the person that you were dealing with could have been single at that point in time, but they were still looking at the past or they were still looking at what was left behind. So it's almost a person that hasn't completely healed, hasn't completely moved on. There are some things that are unbeknownst to you, Capricorn, that are happening behind the scenes that you're not aware of. If you, if you were dealing with a new person, the past four months up until now, okay? And you don't see things progressing as quickly or there was a slowing down in the pace of this connection, that's not gonna be for very long. I feel that there were still things that were left undone that they needed to address. For some of you guys, this could be a person that is still working on themselves, um, but they definitely do understand or they do feel this strong connection or pull towards you. But I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a person that either has things that need to be addressed right now with people from the past to be able to go into the next cycle of this connection with you. Now, I do see them slowing down here at the top, but going into, I want to say, the second week of February, they're coming on and they're coming on strong to you, Capricorn. They're bringing to you 
an offering they're bringing to you some type of stability that's coming through here with the full card they're asking for a new beginning a new opportunity or to have faith and trust in them to take a leap of faith a leap of faith towards this new beginning towards this new passion towards this new desire or connection and it is a connection that is coming through that has the potential for something long term so again, if you're dealing with a situation where things slow down or they kind of pulled away, that's going to be unfolding very quickly for the month of February. I see them coming back around almost like uh, flipping the page, almost like starting a new chapter. They're ready. They're, they know exactly what it is that they want and they're going after it. Now, for others of you, this could represent a situation where there's been a bit of instability. Uh, it could be finances. It could be career. However, I do see this situation turning around with the four of coins and the full card. This is having and beholding. This is being able to see physically on the physical aspect, your materializations. This is you being able to see the fruits of your labor. With the full card, you're entering a new cycle. You're going into a new beginning where it's going to bring to you a lot of momentum. This is ideas. This is paying attention to those ideas with the high priestess and taking action in order to get things going. This is you no longer procrastinating, Capricorn. There is a need for you to reset that button and move forward in the most positive way possible and as quickly as possible. With the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Coins, there is promise for financial stability and financial growth. Um, Listen to your intuition for this month of February because you're going to be guided. You're going to be dealing with opportunities that are coming to you. Almost a feeling of things falling on your lap. Don't question it. Receive those blessings and keep marching on moving forward. If you can see here, the high priestess at the very bottom is holding the keys, right? And that's the keys to the manifestation of whatever it is that you're wanting to make happen in your life. But what they're telling you is with the Ace of Wands, there is a need for you to take action. Stop procrastinating. Stop being in your head. Stop doubting yourself. Now is the time to shine, Capricorn. You have three major cards that signify going into a new cycle that is going to be very prosperous for you. The full card is taking the leap of faith, is believing in yourself and having confidence in the pursuit of your new endeavors. The Ace of Wands is passion. This is creativity. This is excitement. This is new beginnings. And the Ace of Coins being able to see the manifestations in material sense. Being able to manifest that long-term committed relationship you've been looking for. That is bringing the stability, emotional support, and financial stability that you've been searching for with you and your partner. Or with you and your marriage. There are major transformations that are happening here, Capricorn. I just hope you're ready. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you for this month of February. Yeah, I'm hearing for some of you Capricorns, you're going to be looking at purchasing new homes. For some of you guys, changing residency. For others of you, looking into investments. I definitely do see, uh, they're showing me almost like the moving of money. And this usually indicates when we invest, uh, because even when we're sleeping, we're making money. So again... Uh, major major opportunities here to make your financial situation grow there is major potential here for this month of February it's about being focused and taking action no longer sitting on ideas no longer well I'm gonna wait for the right moment uh, that's never gonna happen it's now or never Capricorn all right, spirits, what are the direct messages for Capricorns for this month of February 2021 in regards to the situation that they're going to be dealing with for this month? What are your direct messages, spirits? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. All right, your first card here, Capricorn, is Stand Still. Stand Still is a card of reflection. This is a card of internalizing this is a card of when we take a breather take a moment slow the pace and check with ourselves see how we're doing see how we're feeling uh, if there's any restrictions or feeling like you're stuck it's about surrendering and letting things happen and unfold organically your next card here is freedom 
So freedom is that of releasing your desires, releasing your ideas. This is expanding in the most stable way possible. This is about releasing yourself from those chains that have, you know, tied you down for so long. You've restricted yourself. You are the one that's going to set the tone for the limits or the limits that you don't have for this 2021. And your other card here is thriving. Powerful card. This is about getting to the point of manifesting your true potential. This is about you creating the life that you want. This is about you walking in purpose, Capricorn. This is about you thriving off of being who you were born to be. Don't doubt yourself in this process, Capricorn. Do not doubt yourself and do not hold back. Do not water yourself down for anyone. What I'm hearing is you're going to make people uncomfortable. And this is a very powerful message, Capricorn. When they say you're going to make people uncomfortable, this is a representation of understanding that not everyone's going to be okay with you. Not everyone is going to like your energy. Not everyone is going to applaud you for your achievements and your success. But you have a person that remains in darkness for so long. The moment they go out into the world and they see the sun, it blinds them, right? It blinds them. It makes them uncomfortable. Nonetheless, the sun still shines. So do not water yourself down. Do not limit yourself because you make other people uncomfortable. If they're uncomfortable, it just means that their energy doesn't vibe with yours. And that's okay. But you keep shining, baby. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope that uh, this month brings the best uh, and propels you into becoming the better version of yourself, Capricorn. Uh, let's keep doing this and uh, taking on these energies and moving forward for 2021. I wish you guys the very best. Happy uh, Valentine's Day again, like I said, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.